long, long time since I made a video, uh, probably two weeks, longer than usual. Um, but here I am to give my, probably the my most requested video, which is um, how I did my reality TV Big Brother, you know, everyday makeup look. I'm honestly really surprised I'm getting asked to show this because <laughs> some of those um, parts in the show were not very flattering, but thank you so much for hyping me up regardless. <laughs> As you can see, I very freckly face and i've got some dints and bits and pieces from my really severe acne all right enough of the bs let's do it start things off with my moisturizer which is by sukin i actually can't even recommend a moisturizer because you know me you know us russians i always go for the cheapest product i can find so i feel like it does the job just as well as anything else would this is how i get ready in under 10 minutes and under a hundred dollars and I usually like to wait for the moisturizer to like absorb a little bit first um, before I put on anything else when I was actually a child I used to avoid moisturizer because my skin was really oily and I thought it was from the moisturizer so I avoided any moisture to my skin but apparently it's because you don't apply moisturizer that your skin then gets oily because it needs to reproduce those oils to make up for the moisturizer how weird also when i was in when i was younger i was using body moisturizer i think that was my own fault for my face when it, you should actually be doing face moisturizer because i heard body body moisturizer is a lot like way too thick for your skin and this is turning into like a freaking um teaching session and then i'm gonna go in with my maybelline face studio prime this is this has lasted me like 90 years i do put a lot just underneath my eye because i've got this like chicken pox scar Anyway, when I was young, funny story, actually not that funny. When I was younger, I had chicken pox and I scraped out one of my scars and now I've permanently got this dent underneath my eye. And you can probably see in some of my photos, it's pretty funny. Like when I was younger, I used to always edit it out, but now I actually love it. Now I just leave it in every photo. Tiny bit, ma, never hurt nobody. Dunskis. So with my reality TV, makeup i kept going back and forth from um using the makeup forever one and the stiller one it's called stay all day foundation i was just kept going back and forth um for today because it's been winter and i haven't fake turned i'm not going to use this one but i'm going to use the one i used for my other half of the big brother journey because i got tanned by then um and i didn't have to wear a fake tan so it comes like this it's it's lasted me so freaking long. Imagine like 60 days in the Big Brother house and I've still got this, like it's not even halfway done. I take my big ass Morphe M6 brush. In the Big Brother house, I kept applying my makeup with a beauty blender. Uh, and disgustingly, by 60, day, by 60 days time, imagine you're using the same beauty blender. That's like, obviously you wet it and then it's sitting in your drawer wet and it's just collecting that bacteria from the moisture it was just disgusting and it just threw me off ever using beauty blenders again i don't know i just feel like makeup brushes just last so much longer you're hearing that from a bargain hunter so it must mean something probably not probably means nothing don't listen to me <laughs> i say this in every video <sighs> no one's gonna end up watching my videos if i keep saying don't listen to anything i do so listen to everything I do. It's medium to high coverage, whereas the Makeup Forever is very light coverage, which I do like as well. I do think it's innocent fashion to see like if your freckles in your skin and your pimples. I think that's all natural. It's just going back into fashion, I feel. I don't know if I'm hallucinating or if I'm living in a different era, but done. And then I put on my concealer. And it's the Born This Way one. This thick, juicy mama has lasted through the cold war. Like, look how huge it is. This is not even one third done. It's just, honestly, such good value. I'll actually link the shades all underneath in this video alongside the product. And then I take my Morphe E25 brush. It comes like this. It's got massive, big ass hairs at the top. And it's got these tiny little ones at the bottom. Look at what my sister did. She took my makeup brush out of my bag. I was looking for it everywhere. And the tickhead put the entire thing in her foundation. It looks disgusting. It looks like it's been in Trek Swamp. I brushed the concealer upwards because I kind of want to make my face look lifted as opposed to drag down here. So I avoid putting it too far down. 
And then I chucked the tiniest bit of that same concealer. Just, oh. Mum's gonna bash me for that. Better start looking at rentals tonight. Then I just brush that out too, just in a straight motion, just gently. And then chuck a tiny bit of that onto my forehead. Just around underneath my nose. I just wanna brighten my upper lip up. And then just the tip of my chin. Cute. So for some reason, I can't really get around using um, normal like co um, contour sticks and whatnot. I think it just it really, goes really sticky and gross. And every time I try to blend it out, it just takes off half the foundation and it's a potential bloody shit show. And then I have to do this and that and Bob's your uncle and I'm 20 minutes, 20 hours late to whatever I was going to. So I ended up buying a really dark shade of foundation. I'm using the Maybelline Poreless Matte um, one. It's called Fit Me. And it was like, 20 buckaroonies um and it's lasted me for over two years so i take the other gross chat revolting side of this makeup brush just underneath my cheekbone there and on the other side just here underneath my nose just on the sides jesus i'm going to town on that you know what? i actually ch like to chuck some just here as well just in my eye crease, so then it makes you, you know, look snitched. I take my thick, juicy mama of a brush, Morphe E54, and it's just like this, and this is so good for contour. You're think, gonna think I'm crazy because this brush is the size of a head. And underneath my lip, because I kind of want to make my bottom lip look bigger. And I chuck a tiny bit of bronzer down my jaw. I'm gonna lose those few kilos somehow. Makeup's your best friend. You can't even tell I paid like cents, pennies and cents for this contour and it looks so much better than a contour stick. Okay, and this little thing is my best friend. This NARS, um, it's a liquid blush and it is just so pretty. And I know most people are so scared about liquid blush, but the beautiful thing is when I use the tiniest bit, I just use it at the very top of my side cheek. This bad boy lasts so long because that's all I really ever use. I'm gonna still have this when I'm 90 years old. I'm not even joking. Like my kids' grandkids are gonna be able to use it this that much. So yeah, just on the temple of my cheeks. And then just the tiniest bit on my nose, like that. Just because I like to give it that, you know, oh my God, like, did you just come back from the Bahamas? Look, in the middle of lockdown. Done with all the liquid stuff sees, and I'm gonna go in with my big ass brush, buffer brush, just chuck on the Morphe that you've already seen throughout this entire video, but their bronzer, it is so pretty, it's called Big Shot, and oh, again, this has lasted me so freaking long. This bronzer is not what I use in the Big Brother house, my bronzer in the Big Brother house actually um fell and snapped apart, went all over the floor. Because someone went to borrow it and it, yeah, and that was the last time I ever saw bronzy again. And then I take my, it's that old, it doesn't even have a number anymore, but I take, I think it's a weaver. Yeah, I don't know, but it just looks like this. And I actually take the Kylie Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. And I take this shade in the corner here, that orangey one. And this palette's called, it doesn't even have a name either. It's from the 1980s because it's been with me for that long. But I take this little orangey shade here and I just pat it, touch it once and then I just apply it to my cheek again. I just love blush. Not to the point I look like a Japanese cartoon character, but I just think it just is so nice. It gives you so much life. And sometimes when I'm in a rush, I only just put a blush on and I'm just out the door. Especially for those, like, what is it? 3 a.m. wake up calls for when I'm working on the plane, when I'm flight attending. Oh, forget about it. You're just seeing my eyebrows and that's all you're getting. Um, and then I take the Orgasm blush by NARS and it is just the glossiest, nicest, most beautiful thing ever. And I just take a tiny bit of that and just chuck it on the top of my cheekbone as well. And then, and then my favorite part, the highlighter. So 
I use this three dollar um, highlighter. It's called. It's by Fifth Avenue from Kmart. And look at the size of this thing. This I bought this I think four years ago. Yeah, I, I'm not even kidding. It is the only highlighter I've owned and I've actually loved because look at that. I barely even touched it and like it is just so strong. And what I do with this, so I take a tiny bit. You know, when you overdo the highlighter, it just looks a bit how's your father's uncle's daughter's son's nephew. And it just ends up coming across a bit funny. So where I put this, just the tip of my nose. And then just the bridge. And then just highlight the very tip of my, um, what the hell is this called? Well, my cheekbone. Sorry, I've got lunch on my mind. I'm planning to have the juiciest grilled burger. I'm so excited. I've been so obsessed with these um, summer sunset ones. They come with um, avocado and pineapple. Ah! And then I just chuck a tiny bit underneath my nose and then just um, on the tip of my churn. And then I actually take my Morphe M514 brush and I chuck a tiny bit of bronzer just underneath my eye. And I just kind of you know, chuck it around this bad boy. Okay, don't judge me. I actually use my fingers a lot just for, for my makeup um, because I just think it's so easy to like, because I paint a lot, finger paint, and, um, and it just makes it so easy for it to, you know, like apply nicely. Look at that. Not bad. And I use a mix of these top two just to do my upper, my upper eyelid. Oh my God, I have to say the funniest story ever. So the other day I was with Alex and Charlotte, the twins from the show. I have to explain what happened with our keys getting stolen. We're walking towards this alleyway and I go to Alex and Charlotte, hey guys, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go do um, Woolies and just grab, a, like, grab something and I'll meet you guys there. Anyway, so they've gone to this random alleyway just to set up and they were just taking a few photos and I go up to them. I don't, I have no idea what they've already got there because I came late. As they're, you know, taking photos and whatnot, we start, I'm like minding my own business and I see these three guys coming towards us and they looked really shady and a bit scary. I kind of just, you know, mind my own business and it was like a random alleyway that no one even walked next to. Anyway, so they're going past us, one of them's on a bike, and they're walking behind us, and then as they're walking, I'm still on my phone, and I hear a noise of, like, keys clicking. Like, you know when you're, like, ruffling keys? Anyway, I heard that sound, and I turn around, and he's kicked something over, and he's bent down to pick up a set of keys, and I was like, oh, the poor guy must have, like, you know, um, dropped his keys, just picking it up, nothing, nothing serious. So we pack up our stuff, and we get back to the car. Now, Alex goes, guys, my keys, I don't have my keys. Do you guys have your keys? I said, I didn't even know you even had keys there. So we go back to this alleyway and they're gone. And then I had a flashback moment to that man stealing our keys right in front of me. And I didn't even say anything because I had no idea. How stupid do you think he thought I was? He's like, this bitch, she's literally looking at me, still has keys, and she's just standing there. And the worst part is, like, the keys were right ne near us, too. It was, like, um, two meters away. It's just the odds of us being there at the same time as these random guys. So now I'm checking Marketplace every day to see if there's, you know, a wallet to be picked up as well um, in that area. And if so, then I'm coming to get the wallet with the cops. But, oh, my God, how crazy is that? I actually take a tiny bit of bronzer too while I'm at it and chuck it just around my nose here again. I just have this weird like fetish over making my nose look snitched. I don't know why that is. I think it's because I used to keep seeing Tilly do it and then I started doing it ever since I've seen her tricks. And then we'll do my eyebrows though. So I'm going to take the cold brew by Morphe. And then I'm just going to, I don't really grow much hair in the corner of my eyebrow as you can tell. So I just mainly fill that out and then I just extend my eyebrow. I don't really like to touch the top of it because again, I'm going for that natural look. I feel, I just do it from the bottom like this and I kind of just brush it up because again, I don't want to make my eyebrows look a bit boxy. I actually love to brush it even that tiny bit closer to each other. 
yeah. I just take my e.l.f. Um, eyebrow gel. I take the brown one. I just feel like it makes your hairs look so much thicker when it clasps onto it. And it just looks so nice and in place. Then the wind doesn't blow them away. Like, you should see the winds here in Melbourne. My weave always blown away in these winds. And I kind of brush it upwards as well just to make it look fuller. Like, it's quite a difference. I actually do a baby liner. So I take my eyebrow stuff sees again and I dip the tiniest bit in it. I like a dark brown during the day because it's not as harsh as black would be. So I chuck the tiniest bit in my outer corner. I buy the Lash Paradise um, Mascara by L'Oreal. I actually don't use Lash Curler because I am so scared of Lash Curler. So I always skip that step. Uh, my favorite part ever, my lips. So I take the Guide Me Morphe um, eyebrow pencil. Eyebrow pencil, hope not. Um, uh, lip pencil. And it's like a nudie pink. And then I, this is the secret. The Fenty Gloss in the shade Fenty Glow. I don't really have a Cupid's bow with my lips, so I sometimes just like to draw it on, because why not? Take a tiny bit of this bad boy and... Okay, this is way darker than I ever did in the Big Brother house. <laughs> but I think I look like I'm about to hit the clubs. But... This was the shade, so it was just a lot more nudie. Uh, I think I just went overboard. I just chuck on my setting spray, which is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I don't want to overdo it because I feel like it makes you look a bit sticky. Bon chocolate, it is done. So this is this was my everyday look um, in the Big Brother house. This is the end result. So it doesn't look like you tried too hard, even when you, when you did. Even if you kind of did. Anyway, I hope you really enjoyed this video. And I can't wait to see for my next video. I actually don't even know what I'm going to film next. So leave any suggestions you have in the comments below. And I'll have a read through them. And I promise I'll deliver um, sooner than this one was. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll link all the products and all the shades and everything underneath in this video. Bye.